The Optics OSN 500, 550, and 580 are new generation multi service optical transmission equipment, which features large capacity, high reliability, low power consumption, and compact structure. They can be used at the metro access layer and aggregation layer. The Optics OSN 500 is 1U high. Its chassis can be supplied with AC power or DC power. The AC powered chassis and DC powered chassis have their own power modules and cannot use the power module of each other. The DC powered chassis can dissipate heat through natural dissipation or air cooling. A single chassis supports a maximum of 7.2 gigabits per second packet capacity, 21.25 gigabits per second higher order cross-connection capacity, and 5 gigabits per second lower order cross-connection capacity. The Optics OSN 550 is 2U high. A single chassis supports a maximum of 64 gigabits per second packet capacity, 20 gigabits per second higher order cross connection capacity and 5 gigabits per second lower order cross connection capacity. The Optics OSN 580 is 5U high. A single chassis supports a maximum of 280 gigabits per second packet capacity, 285 gigabits per second higher order cross connection capacity and 5 gigabits per second lower order cross connection capacity. Both Optics OSN 550 and 580 can be installed in outdoor cabinets, which can be deployed conveniently. Fiber management tray can be used to coil access fibers or jumpers of the Optics OSN 580. A fiber management tray allows a maximum of 40 fibers to be let in and supports a total fiber length of 50 meters. A DCM frame is to house DCMs. The Optics OSN 580 supports two DCM frames and each DCM frame can house two DCMs. The external AC power supply of the UPM converts 110 volts by 220 volts AC power into 48 volts DC power and supplies it to the Optics OSN 500 or 550. The UPM's management module is called CAU. You only need to configure the CAU on the NMS. The Optics OSN 500 supports three service slots. A single slot supports a maximum of 2.5 gigabits per second packet capacity and 5.75 gigabits per second TDM capacity. The Optics OSN 550 supports 8 service slots. A single slot supports a maximum of 10 gigabits per second packet capacity and 2.5 gigabits per second TDM capacity. The Optics OSN 580 supports 15 service slots. A single slot supports a maximum of 20 gigabits per second packet capacity and 20 gigabits per second TDM capacity.
The Optics OSN equipment supports packet, SDH, PDH, EOS, SmartLine, WDM, and optical amplifier boards, which help to implement body service access, optical amplification, and transmission. A system control, switching and timing board integrates the system control, cross-connect, and clock units to provide communication control, service scheduling, and clock processing functions. A packet board implements data packet access, packet switching, and bandwidth management. A smart line board uses the same OTU pipe to carry packet and SDH services, achieving efficient mixed transmission of small granular services. An SDH board transmits SDH signals, which involves converting between optical and electrical STMN signals and processing overheads. A PDH board encapsulates and maps received PDH services and cross-connects them to SDH lines. An EOS board encapsulates and maps received Ethernet services and cross-connects them to SDH lines. A WDM board multiplexes and demultiplexes wavelength signals reduces fiber resources required. An optical amplifier board is used as the transmit or receive end to amplify optical signals. A power board supplies AC or DC power to a chassis. A PIU board is used for DC power supply, and an APIU board is used for the AC power supply. The two types of boards cannot be used at the same time. An AUX board provides auxiliary ports, including external clock ports and alarm input and output ports. A fan board is used to dissipate heat generated by the equipment. The power consumption in typical configurations and the maximum power consumption are provided here. The typical power consumption is low and the equipment is energy efficient, thereby reducing customers' OPEX. The power consumption in typical configurations and the maximum power consumption are provided here. The typical power consumption is low and the equipment is energy efficient, thereby reducing customers' OPEX. The power consumption in typical configurations and the maximum power consumption are provided here. The typical power consumption is low and the equipment is energy efficient thereby reducing customers' OPEX.